finally time. So no lie, I get asked about these things almost every single day still, which is crazy, but today we are finally, finally installing them. So real fast, I just want to add this here. You might notice like the camera looks smoother. This entire time, I don't know why, I thought I had this camera in 60 frames a second to record in. It's been in 30 frames this entire time. I never looked, so that's my bad. So from this point onward, the quality of this camera should look much, much better. I'm an idiot. I didn't check it, I thought it was just there. It wasn't my bad, I apologize, but from here on forward, quality should be much smoother and much better. Now back to this. I mean, look how nice and smooth that is now. I'm an idiot, I apologize guys, I'm sorry. Anyways though, this is a set of Xena headlights for Bora or for Jetta. I got these, I wanna say five, six months, so it's been a long, long time. And I wanna put them in the car, we test fit them, I already have the HID ballasts in the wagon ready to go, they already work, all that's done. But the issue was these lenses, you can see, are super tore up. The original plastic lenses because, you know, the Jetta is the red-headed stepchild of the Volkswagen world, so they got plastic lenses, but these ones are all tore up and look super bad. But that's where this box comes in. Now, if you're wondering why you never saw this package here, I'm pretty sure this arrived, I think I posted on the Patreon once, but I'm pretty sure this package arrived the day before all of our stuff shipped out. So honestly, we had no time to go through and actually install them on the car. Everything's already packed up. But now that all of our stuff's here, now we can get to it. Let me show you the beauty. Now I searched these for a while, couldn't find them, and they finally came back into stock. And I had to grab me a set. Because the glass lenses just look so much better than the plastic ones. Oh, they made it safely, no damage. Let me show you this very carefully. Bam! Crystal clear helix glass lenses for the Bora lights, for the Jetta lights, which are so, so nice. So stoked on these. I ended up getting these from Euro Tuning, uh, and the company was out of California, I believe, but they were out of stock for months, and I finally found it, and it shipped out, and again, they, these made it to the house right before we left, so couldn't do it then, but we're doing it now. And again, these things just like crystal clear, brand new glass, can't beat it. The glass lenses are straight gorgeous. I want to go from all that to literally brand new. These things look so good after this. Also, we have the new clips to hold the lens to the, uh, the housing here. Whew, they're look good. All right, so before we can put our nice new lenses onto here, obviously the old lens must come off, which means we have to go through, heat up all of this, the old glue, the old sealant, and slowly cut through and pry it off. You can put the entire thing in the oven and heat it up. I find it works better for me personally. I actually use a heat gun, and I work my way around slowly, just kind of cutting through and prying and cutting and prying. It's a slow process. Nothing is like the most effective way to do it, but again, if you just heat up each spot, cut it little by little, and then pry it off, that usually works the best. And just like that, our trash plastic lens is off. Look how brand new these look now. Before, all types of hazy scratched up, brand new, which is how it'll look once our brand new glass lens is on. So first one's done, I'm gonna go through, clean out all the old silicone out of the tray here. We'll put new silicone in, put the glass lens on, and uh, whew, man, 
That's a good looking light. Tons and tons of scraping later. I would say just about all the silicone is out of the tray. Um, it's not everything, but it's definitely enough that I can put the new one in, reseal it, and have no issues. So that one is done and good to go, just waiting on the lens. And now we can start on this one. So this glass isn't mounted yet, but I want a side-by-side -side between the two. Night and day difference. Just trash plastic, brand new glass. This thing looks incredible now. Whew. Definitely glad I waited for this. I, I could have ran them like this, all scratched up. I could have polished the plastic a little bit, but... Nothing compares to brand new glass lenses. I mean, just look at that. And then, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Lens number two, officially off. This one took forever. They loaded this bad boy up with all the silicone. Thankfully got it off though, didn't break anything, so that's good, I'm gonna go through clean this off, clean all the old silicone out, and then we can toss on the nice new lenses. Woo, I can't wait to see these bad boys on the wagon. Woo, buddy. So I just spent like 10 minutes or so cleaning every inch of these housings. The chrome is perfectly clean. It all looks brand new. Like these things look brand new. Like, look at this, let me flip it down real fast. Y'all see this right now? Look at this. Do you see the level? of clear I mean, these things look brand new so they're prepped they're cleaned they're ready to go new lenses it's time it's time all right so what we have here is your standard clear indoor outdoor 100 percent weatherproof silicone we're going to use this do a nice little bead around the outside not too much just a nice little bead on the entire thing set a lens down in it let it dry and that's it also just a friendly reminder do not forget to clean your lenses outside and inside before you mount them up. The last thing you wanna have is a fingerprint on the inside that you can't get to and it's already done. So do not forget clean outside and inside before you seal them up. So the original plan, I wasn't gonna toss the lights on the car today, but what I wanna do instead, you can see I have them all taped up. I wanna let them dry overnight, make sure everything's exactly where it's supposed to be, seal it up properly and good to go before we toss them on the car. For one more day, we'll be rocking with the uh, stock jet of lights, which honestly, the front of this car with these lights looks really good. The Mark IV Jetta front end is one of my favorite generations by far. It just looks killer. And it'll look that much better once those lights are in there. You know, I definitely love all of our vehicles, but uh, the wagon just has such a special place in my heart. I adore this vehicle. I love this car so much. Also, I've been slacking, I haven't said it in a while, but this is your reminder, you need a wagon in your life. If you've been thinking about it, you're not sure, this is me telling you, get a wagon. You, you can't go wrong. So tomorrow, bright and early, we are slapping these bad boys into the wagon. All right, we're back, it's a new day. The tape is off the lights and oh my goodness. Look at these beauties. I mean, these things look absolutely brand new. I mean, this is crazy. Whew. Like I said, stock lights on a Jetta, they're not bad, they look good in the car, but like, oh, that's what I'm talking about. So, let's get them installed. Can't wait to see them in the car. So I managed to find one of these, which is a H21W bulb, which is the Pertinol bulb inside of here. Uh, this one had one and that was missing one. I managed to find one. In all of my knots, there was literally one at AutoZone and I'm so glad I got it. Now, as much as I love this front end, and it is a very good looking front end. The unfortunate part is the last two headlight bolts are under the bumper and since these cars on the Mark IVs have the grill and the bumper as one piece, unlike the Mark IIs and unlike the Mark IIIs where you just pull the grill out and get to the bottom two bolts, on these ones we have to pull the entire bumper at least partially off to access our last two bolts which are these two here. So, I mean, it is what it is, but a little bit more involved actually pull the headlights out. Front bumper has it removed, and now you can see our last bolts there and there. Man, oh man, I have been waiting to put these headlights in for so long. Cannot wait to see how these things look. Last two down at the bottom, all tucked away and annoying. Oh, and there goes that. I try not to drop things, but I think it's get it. Turn! There we go.
And there goes that. Look at that. Bam. Stock boys coming out. You know, I did not realize how bad these ones actually were. But seeing them next to brand new ones, you can really tell those things were toasted. Now, something I noticed between the stock one versus the new one here, this housing actually has the little cutouts for the plastic tabs to actually clip into, where this one does not. Now, these lenses came with the brand new tabs, but I don't have any of the actual spots in the housing to actually clip them down. So hopefully I did a good enough job with the silicone, that way the glass doesn't fall out, which I don't think it will, but it would be cool to actually be able to use the tabs and clip it in as a little added safety. All right, this is it. Ooh. First light going in. Oh, I'm so excited. Don't drop the brand new light, please. It sucks we had to wait this long for these lights, but I'm so glad we did the glass because that just makes these things look that much better. All right. Dang, those look good. Let me just tell you how hyped I am to see that. God, those are beautiful lights. I know I said wheels do the most for a car, and I still think they do, but a fresh set of headlights changes the entire car. Before, after, before, after. Now, if you're wondering how these lights are actually gonna function, because these ones, if you know, are different from the stock ones, you can see this one has one plug-in right there, or the new one has this plug-in and the one down there. Now, if you remember I said earlier, we already mounted the HID ballasts in the fender months and months ago back in Germany, so that is this plug right here. So this plug goes to the bottom right there, and then this plug is the adapter that goes to your factory headlight harness, which is this one right here. All right, both lights are in, a little bit of assembly to do here, and the... <sighs> Those lights are killer. All right, we got her all staged up, put back together, tested, everything works. Ooh, wait for it, wait for it. Yo. What a difference. It's like a whole new car. I am so glad I waited for the glass lenses. Jeez, look at that. Huge difference in the car. So I went back through my videos and turns out I got these lights eight months ago. I thought it was like four or five months ago, which is still a long time, but I got these eight months ago. So I understand the questions. When are the lights going on the wagon? I get it, it's been a long time, but hey, they're officially on and they look incredible. Yeah, they function perfectly, they fit the car so well, and again, I'm so glad I waited for the glass lenses. They look brand new and they just changed the whole look of the wagon. This thing looks so mean from the front now. All right, so we have a slight dilemma. I noticed, if you look at the passenger one here, if you look at the angle of this, it's like nice and flat to us, and you can't see too much of the top side, but on the driver's side, you can see it's kind of tilting down, and you can see that top core is popping out. Now, the adjusters on the top, you have this one there, and that one there. This one on the outside, that would be for the projector portion, is actually broke. So I'm trying to figure out how this is supposed to work. I don't think it's actually working. I adjusted this one and I adjusted this one so those ones match now, but this one's still too far forward. So I'm trying to figure out how to go inside here and just like, you know, move something and adjust it so it pulls that top section back. So it's actually pointing, you know, straight versus like straight down. Because right now you can see it's just like droopy. Good. Droopy. All right, so surgery has commenced and I actually found our issue. So looking down way inside there. So first off, this adjuster here, uh, it broke like this is the, you can over here. That's the original one. This is what we have now, which actually still functions exactly the same. Not OEM, but it does work. The issue lies though, if you look down there, that way in there. So there's a little circular uh, hole. 
and this little arm, the arm pulls in and then it pulls back out to adjust it up or down. The issue is there should be on this black piece here, there should be a ball on the end of it inside that housing back there that will pull or push um, the entire thing. The problem is the, uh, the ball is gone. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do if I even make it work like this, I might have to just leave it for now. Or if I could just prop something in here to kind of push it and tilt where I need it. Um, but it would be cool to actually fix it properly to actually have the adjuster and be able to go up and down and, you know, dial in the headlights. But at the current moment, I don't think it's going to work. Try to give you a better angle here. Right there. So this piece here goes in and out. You can see there's a, like a little black ball, but there should be a ball on top of that one seated inside the silver area that pushes and pulls. But... That piece is gone although i did hear something rattling around inside this housing maybe it fell off in here and we actually make this work i want to do a little shaking so we can't find it well after a lot of tilting back and forth and shaking around there is the piece that belongs inside there i have super glue i don't think there's any chance i can glue this back together in a way that would actually work but maybe i don't know how but very very carefully i don't drop this we have put the entire thing back together. This was one, two, three, four, four pieces I think total, or five pieces total. Yeah, a lot of super glue, a lot of very careful movements, but all together, will this work? No idea, but worth a shot. Now the hardest part here is gonna be getting that clip actually seated in there properly because there's like no room. Normally you'd have the lens out, which I just did annoyingly enough, but the lens would be off and you pull the entire inside out the front side and then rebuild everything and then put it back through, then lens back on and you're good to go. But my lens is already back on. I am not taking those back off. They're freshly sealed, not doing it. So yeah, either that goes in nicely or it might not from here. I gotta find another way just to hold like this there. So that's where that currently, I need it here. So I find a way just to hold it here would be good, but I'd like to have the adjuster working properly, but we might not get that today. All right, so we are just about out of daylight. What I'm gonna do, end this video here, continue to work on this, either try and make the clip I fixed work, which I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we'll give it a shot, or try and find a way to still hold this section here so it can't move anymore. But again, I want the adjustability, so I want it to function properly. I'm gonna try and see if they sell this clip brand new, which they might or they might not, I don't know, I haven't looked yet. Um, but yeah, for right now, I'm gonna end this video here. We know the lights work, they look great in the car, everything's good to go, I just want this one to be pointing the proper direction and not at the ground. So, gotta fix that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.